Welcome back to Undertale. Last time we got our butts handed to us on a silver platter by the king, Asgore. Yes, yes, I know. It was pretty sad to watch. But now I'm back. I went down, uh, grinded some enemies out so you didn't have to watch that boring part. And actually bought a shit ton of healing items. So now we're going to try this and hopefully have a different outcome than getting our butts served on a silver platter. Finish the game, get through the barrier, and see what's waiting for us. Here we go, Asgore. Here we go. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let's continue this bad boy. I see. This is it then. Ready? Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready, child. Come on, let's do this, brother. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. What's up, human? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, shit. So even though he's looking down, it looks like he has a creepy smile on his face. <laughs> Act. Talk. He nods sadly. It's okay, we'll kick his butt. Talk. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. He breathes funny for a moment. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. And defense dropped. Oh, Christ. Okay, thank you. Alright, now we can take the... Star fight. Blue, blue. Don't move. Okay, here we go, Asgore. Are you ready for this? Time to start whooping your little behind. Come on! Mm. You want some candy, little boy? I got a whole popsicle freezer full of popsicles. And they got your name on them. Oh, yeah, Asgore, come on. Oh, should I heal? I'll attack. Oh, that was a terrible. Oh, it still did decent. Orange, orange, orange. Good job, good job, me. Should we attack or heal? Attack, heal. Let's heal. Let's play it smart because the HP is maxed out. Okay. There we go. Here we go. I like the soundtrack. Oh, this is bullcrap. The fire rings are moving now. Okay, all right. This is like the furthest we've gotten so far. I'm proud. Orange, orange, orange. That's right. The eye flashes have given you away, boy. If this is the final boss, this is kind of sad now that once you have healing items, do the pacifist run? Yes, it's a little tricky, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy. Like, and I'm not trying to say that to get overconfident, seeing as I finished that with one health left. Okay, let's do this. One, two, oh, you whore. Stop that! Okay. He's halfway there. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. He is now half officially halfway. 
Let's heal. Star Island. Oh, these circles are just BS. <laughs> Come on, Asgore, you keep this up your- Oh, his attacks are getting faster. That's what it is. I do not like that. One moment, sir. You know damn well who I am. I should heal here. Oh, I've almost used all my... One ninety nine, not bad, huh? It's pretty swifty, if I do say so myself. Two thirty four, here we go. Blue, blue, blue one. There we go. I should heal. There we go. 244, here we go. You're almost dead, Asgore. Ooh, 301, we're doing it. I moved. Alright. Here we go. Let's do this, Asgore. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their soul to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Nope, sorry. I have to give you mercy. This is pacifist. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. You know, if that didn't give away who the queen was, I mean, just throw that out there. We could be like, like a family. Oh, that's a cute wrapping up right there. What? Are you fucking kidding me? What? I didn't do that. Oh, Flowey. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Uh, Parway. Parway. I don't like this. Mommy. Wait. No, no, no. We got this. Wait. One day, the all disappeared without a trace. <laughs> uh, 
continue? Uh, oh, safe, thank God. Uh, that's a dick move, bro. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Ah, uh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then with my newfound powers. Monsters, humans, everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, creepy. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. Oh, jeez. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Nope, I just learned from Sans. Six hearts, huh? <laughs> kind of creepy. I like it. All right. Here we go. Full board. Take everything I've learned. We're going to apply this. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Um. Oh, what the hell? That is not even cute. Oh, that is not even cute. Who the fu- This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Oh, creepy. Did I? Oh. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? Oh, sh so I have no choice. I, I have to... Okay, I see. I see. This is why every time I see a flower now, I'm going to rip it out by its stems. Alright, let's do... Come on, Flowey. Face me like the man you claim to be. <laughs> Alright, learning. Learning, learning. Warning? What's one? Well, um, dang.
shoot. I do not like this one damn bit. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. <sighs> At least we made it further than we did last time. Alright, we got this. Pathetic. Now you're really gonna die. Does it make you restart, I wonder? Or does it keep a checkpoint for all the uh, hearts you've earned? Okay, come on, be cool, guys. What the hell? It's not even showing anything now. Uh, something good, I'm guessing? We got this. Don't you get it? There's no such thing as happy endings. This is all that's left. All right, come on, Flabby. Be cool. Be cool. Okay, stunning. I suck at these dodging mechanics. No. Uh, how are you supposed to even? Are, am I supposed to bore him into desperation? Or am I...
Finally, another heart. What the hell? There we go. Oh, that bullshit file loading and abuse. Good sir, I would ask you to please stop the abuse of my file. What the heck? Oh, I don't like this one bit. Ah, oh, thank goodness. do I do here? Oh, I have to... Oh, they're fully healing me, aww. Fire's defense dropped to zero. So I just have to... I like this positive message. Even the defeated humans are having hope. be happening you you file three loaded what you idiot <laughs> did you really think you could defeat me I am the god of this world, and you? 
You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You're worthless friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. All right. Huh? What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. What? Where are my powers? The souls! What are they doing? No. No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. By Toby Fox. Oh, so that was it. Huh. Other monsters. Mike Reed. Programming help. Photoshop. Not bad. Let's see what we got here. If there's any ending scene like some games have. Wow, for such a good game, it had so few people working on it. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seems to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're, we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sons, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore, 
wow, I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. Then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible. But I'd like to believe it's not, because I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again, even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Click. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your safe all in. Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Papyrus then, undying? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Phew! Huh. Alright, well, that's it for this episode of A Nine. We, uh... We beat Flowey the Flower. We spared Asgore just to watch him get struck down by Flowey. But, in all in all, it was a great game. And I feel like in the next episode, as we wrap things up... We will go visit Undyne and Papyrus and see what uh, secrets they hold in a way. But anyway, thank you for watching the Let's Play and stay tuned for the next episode. Smash a like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell for notifications whenever we upload, go live, or do anything with this channel. But until next time, we will see you in the future. Peace, peace.